Just say, I was High Commissioner for Human Rights when the Millennium Development Goals were brought in. They actually uh, were extrapolated from the Development Declaration for the Millennium. And uh, it was almost a secret process. And it didn't take off at all at the beginning for anyone, never mind the private sector. Um, and um, you know, it was a very slow start. And then people began to realize that having um, global goals helped. Now we have extraordinarily important sustainable development goals and the climate agreement as the, um, uh, the way in which we define sustainability. We've got to get to well below two degrees, aiming for 1.5, and we've got to um, be out of all carbon by the second half, of, early in the second half of the century. I would say before 2050, but that's in the, in the Paris Agreement. And that's a kind of different um, situation from the Millennium Development Goals because it absolutely requires what Denmark is doing. It absolutely requires building infrastructure in developing countries and helping them to do it without emissions. Um, none of the developed countries did that. We grew on fossil fuel and we're now saying to developing countries, yes, we understand that you want to develop, but um, it needs to be done. With, and so uh, there, it, it is true we have this extraordinary dilemma of being awash with capital that wants to invest and very low interest rates. And yet we can't, make, we can't connect the dots. I think we need far more of the public-private partnerships, of the kind of partnerships, and taking the risk out by having the public sector, not only taking the risk out, but having standards.